Hello everybody. Happy Friday. Happy start to your weekend. I hope it's going to be a fun weekend ahead. Let me know in the comments what you're doing. Let me know what's going on, how you're doing, <laughs> all of that good stuff. I'm Tina Putney. I'm a certified parent coach and tonight I will be talking about a topic I'm excited to, to share with you. It's inner healing. And what is inner healing? Uh, I've got a little bit of a definition, but it is forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, for the message spoken to you, over you, for the messages you carried, believed, and held on to. And whew, let's just take a breath right there. Inner healing is something that is not for the faint of heart. It's for somebody who really, really does need to do some emotional work because what has been spoken over us, what has been told to us, what has kept us captive, inner healing is the work to release ourselves from all of that. And why we do it, why it's important, why we should do it, is because we're being held captive by what our pasts have produced in our lives, that the messages that we've heard, and that's showing up in our parenting now, right? So we want to do this inner healing work because it's going to benefit our relationship with our, with our children. And it's all about them, right? It's all about being the parents that you want to. It's all about showing up the way that you want to show up. It doesn't matter if you weren't showing up appropriately in your life. I didn't have that experience. You can still show up the way that you want to. That's what the beautiful part about inner healing is, is that if you do the work, you all of a sudden start to become free. And I'll talk a little bit more about that and like I said, my journey. Um, so I want to share my inner healing story that I had. When I was doing this program to be certified as a parent coach, I had to write a letter to my caregiver and it was a hard letter. Um, rocks are really important in my family and they are beautiful ways that we have um, ended journeys, began journeys, you know, just kind of signified the moment of something really special happening. Well, that day uh, we went to a river and I tied my parent caregiver letter onto the rock and then put some rubber bands up around it and uh, threw it in the river. And why did I do that is because I was releasing the story. Also, after the live tonight, I will share my blog post about this. And my husband laughed at me because um, at the time he had to like take like a 35 segment like video and turn it into two minutes. And me, I write a six, a six like rock flipping in the air six times and the air turns into a blog post and just like funny things that like that. So my blog post actually explains this and shows this and it's beautiful. <laughs> if I could say so myself. Um, like when the rock was flipping the air, it was flipping about six times in the air. The sun was shining. The, the birds were singing. It was almost like all of creation came out to celebrate this moment. It was so cool. Um, so tonight I actually want to invite you to an inner healing experience. Um, I hope you'll join me, but what I would love to see you do is, um, respond with a hashtag, I dropped the rocks. Because let's just, let's just talk about something for a second. All of that inner healing work that you should and will do is because all of those messages, all of the things you heard, all the things you've seen, all of the things that you've experienced is rocks in a bag, Right? really heavy and now it's showing up in your parenting and it's hard to carry right let me show you I've got a very heavy rocks it's right here all these hi Wendy thanks for watching very very heavy rocks we're gonna do something tonight and we're gonna drop those rocks so I will encourage you to write a letter um, write journal this or something um, if you have rocks, I would encourage you to paint on them, draw on them, do some kind of 
activity with a rock or whatever makes sense to you, whatever means anything to you, where you are doing an inner healing activity and you are dropping the rocks. Woo! Exciting! <laughs> so I would love to hear your stories. I would love to hear what you're dropping. I would love to hear that you're doing this. So um, if you're watching this as a replay, hashtag replay and hashtag I am dropping the rocks. I'm so excited to hear what you guys would say. Um, but who wants to carry this? These are all rocks in here. Who wants to carry that around? That is what I'm offering to you guys tonight. So I can't wait to see what you, you come up with. Um, oh, let's see. Oh gosh, they're so heavy. <laughs> so inner healing is all about you, right? Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to perpetuate those messages to your children and you don't want them to have to do inner healing when they're younger or when they're older or when they're parents, right? You can start the inner healing process now so that it doesn't have to transpire to your children. And contrary to what you might think or hear, it's never too late. It's never, never, never too late to drop the rocks. Once I did, I things that used to just get under my skin don't do that anymore because of the inner healing work. So if there's something that's still very triggering for you with your children, my suggestion is to do some inner healing work. And if, if, if it's still bugging you, talk to me about it. I, I want to hear. I want to hear what you are feeling. I want to hear what you're experiencing. I want to hear what still needs to be worked through. And I would be happy, happy, happy to um, help you through that. So hashtag I drop the rocks. If you're doing this with me, let's make this happen. Um, I want to hear some stories this weekend. I want to hear who is excited about this. I am so excited for you and your families because this is going to be an amazing thing if you join me in this effort of dropping the rocks. So I hope that this helped you. I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, just let me know what you need. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. I hope you have a good moments with your family and stay warm if you're in a warm, cold state like us. Um, and uh, don't be too hot if you're in a hot state. You guys take care. Bye.